Hey there view, today we are going to go through the duplicate management module. You can find it through trailhead.salesforce.com. Just type duplicate management into the search bar. It's about resolving and preventing duplicates to increase user confidence in your data. Let's get started with the first step, improving data quality. Improving data quality. After completing this unit, you will be able to explain how duplicate data is wasteful, explain how your company wins when you prevent duplicate data, identify solutions for resolving and preventing duplicate data. Why duplicate data is a problem. If you follow the optimized sales feature for Lightning Experience Trail, you know the Salesforce admin Maria Jimenez at Ursa Mayor. She works hard to help her sales team work efficiently and sell efficiently. But the company sales manager Lincoln shared with Maria an ongoing problem related to the quality of data that his sales rep work with. Sometimes his reps inadvertently call leads and contacts that other reps own. Duplicate records cause trouble for his teams because his reps often don't know that the duplicates are floating out there. That's not good because through social media, Lincoln learned that a few of your Samaya's prospects and customers gave his company negative feedback. Some of the comments say that your Samoa mayor wastes prospects and customers' time, has multiple reps calling the same prospects and customers, which seem overly aggressive, appears disorganized. The bit about your Samaya appearing disorganized is important. When customers feel that the company isn't tracking its business, they can also worry that their interests can suffer. The reps at your Samaya have no intention of upsetting prospects and customers, but it's easy to see how the company's reputation is at stake. Duplicate data is also affecting admins, including you, and that's because duplicate records cause sales team to lose trust in their CRM system. The last thing you want is for your teams to question the validity of the data they rely on. Fortunately, Maria has ideas about how she can improve your Samaya's reputation and restore sales rep's trust in Salesforce. She explains to Lincoln that flagging records that are potential duplicates can save his reps time and prevent them from missing important sales opportunities. Reps still have access to all their prospects, customers and relevant details. That's because they know of a potential duplicate record, they can be confident that they are capturing data in the correct record. Advantages of duplicate free data when your sales rep work with duplicate free data, there's no guessing about whether a colleague is already qualifying the claim prospect. Also, your reps can count on having all the information in one contact record instead of hunting for more details in a duplicate record. It's important that your sales team feel confident that you are managing Salesforce and delivering features with your team's trust and success in mind. When your CRM system is free of duplicate data, your reps trust that the data is clean and worthwhile. Tools that we give you for duplicate management. We've covered some of the problems that duplicate data creates for your company. Salesforce helps your reps handle the duplicate records from any device. And we give you options to prevent or discourage your sales reps from creating more duplicate records with duplicate management. It's available to and free of charge for professional enterprise and unlimited editions. Duplicate management helps you and your sales teams quickly and easily manage duplicates for business accounts, contacts, leads, personal accounts, records created from custom objects. It's highly configurable and offers you far more than just exact detection and matching logic. Our standard matching detects potential duplicate records based on exact matches, such as two contacts with the same name, Margaret Chan. But you can set up rules to include fuzzy matching, which identifies potential duplicate records based on the variances of certain fields. For example, you create a rule to include fuzzy matching 
for first names. Duplicate management identifies the two contacts Margaret Chan and Peggy Chan as potential duplicate records. Rules for identifying duplicates and how to handle them. Maria plans to work closely with Lincoln to decide how they want Salesforce to identify duplicate records and whether to allow or prevent duplicates. First, she gets familiar with two things that are important for controlling duplicate records in Salesforce. What it is, matching rule, what it defines, the matching criteria to identify duplicate records. Salesforce comes with three standard matching rules, one for business accounts, one for contacts and leads, and another for person accounts. Creating other matching rules is a cinch. We show you how Maria does it in the next unit. Duplicate rule. When Salesforce engages matching rules and determines actions to take its assets and counters duplicates. Depending on how you configure duplicate management, sales reps see an alert that they are about to create a duplicate. All your reps are blocked from creating the duplicate altogether. If your company starts using Salesforce in Spring 15 or later, we give you standard duplicate rules for business accounts, contacts, leads and person accounts. If your company starts to use Salesforce in Winter 15 or earlier, like Maria, you create the rules on your own, which is easy. You manage matching rules and duplicates from setup. So let's go there. The playground is probably in the next step. Yes, it is. So let's just launch the. So let's just launch the discount approval process playground. I don't think I did anything there that could interfere with the data quality um, duplicate management module. But let's see. So let's go to setup. And we can have a look there, duplicate rules and matching rules. So we got two rules here, standard rule for contacts and standard rule for leads. And here's one more for accounts. How duplicate management works. Let's see what happens when one of our years and mayor sales reps, Aaron, creates a contact in Salesforce. Aaron creates a contact and Salesforce looks for possible duplicates. Based on the criteria in the matching rule that Maria set up earlier, Salesforce provides a list of possible duplicates. The duplicate rule determines Aaron's options. The rule can block Aaron from creating the record or letter created and show an alert. If she does create the contact, the rule can even add the potential duplicates to a report for her manager Lincoln to see. In this case, the standard duplicate rule alerts Erin of the potential duplicates. She has a choice to go to the contact that's already in Salesforce or continue creating the record even though it's a potential duplicate. Resources, use these resources to learn about managing duplicate resources, duplicate records. Let's have a look there. Let's have a look how this actually works, but I guess they will go through it in the next one. So 
This is apparently matching through field mapping. And here, yeah, everything is apparently covered about managing duplicates. So let's go to the, through the quiz here. What's true about duplicate records? Rep can rely on multiple records for the same data. They can waste your app's time. They are safety net in case teammates inadvertently update a matching record. They negatively affect your company's reputation. B and D. How can controlling duplicate records help admins? Sales team trusts that you manage your CRM system with their success in mind. You don't worry about sending alerts to duplicate email addresses for your sales reps. You don't run the risk of adding Salesforce users more than one time. Studies show that admin without duplicates records sleep better. That as well, but your sales team trusts that you manage your CRM system with their success in mind. Let's see is as well. Yeah, I would go for that. Eliminate, eliminating duplicate data. It's a manual and time intensive process. Takes the guesswork out of wondering whether a prospect is already a customer, ensures that one rep doesn't try to qualify a lead that a colleague already owns. B and C. It's not manual if it's if it uh, goes through rules and people get alerted. Um, so I go for B and C. Takes the guesswork out of wondering whether the prospect is already a customer and ensures that one rep doesn't try to qualify a lead that a colleague already owns. Standard duplicate rules are available on a first come first serve basis. If your Salesforce org was created in spring 15 or later, if your Salesforce org was created in winter 15 or earlier for limited edition customers only. Let's see. Fifteen or later. So apparently there are differences in when your org was created. Apparently they keep some older things there and they didn't force upgrades for some reason. Uh, duplicate management helps your sales rep know when they are creating a potential duplicate rep record at a prospect at both a lead and a contact simultaneously merge a contact with a case a case I'm not sure Which
Now I won't go for a no when they are potentially creating a duplicate record. So let's see if we got this. And lo and behold, we got the 100 points, so let's tackle the next unit. 